in the previous video we discussed about the two way circuit right in this video we will discuss four way circuit that means there are four switches switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 and only one output using any of the switch combination we can make the output lamp on or off okay so go to the software create new project select function block diagram go to edit input output names i am using i3 as which one or sim sw1 i4 as switch 2 i5 as switch 3 and i6 as switch 4 okay i am using q1 as lamp okay so we have to use i3 i4 i5 i6 as inputs and q1 as output click okay so take six inputs i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 so just to delete the i1 i2 okay these are my inputs and one output q1 lamp so in this video we will discuss how to create four way circuit using and or logic gates so take and get and function block 1 2 3 four again take four more 1 2 3 4 total 8 and gates okay i'm just arranging them in proper uh, sequence without gaps okay now can add switch 1 with first input of all the blocks okay switch 1 i will connect with first and gate input 1 again switch 1 with second and gate first input again switch 1 with third and gate first input again switch one with fourth and gate first input all and gates first input is switch one okay all and gates total eight and gates the first input is switch one completed so i connected the switch 1 with all and gates first input remember the number is first do not change it okay similarly connect the switch 2 with second input of all and gates this is my switch 2 connect switch 2 with all and gates second input do not change the sequence okay
Similarly, connect switch 3 with third input of all the end gates. Just I'm moving this one so that we'll have better visibility. Connect switch 3 with all end gates, third input. Okay, now connect switch four with the fourth input of all AND gates. Again, move. Okay. Then at the fourth input, switch four with all and gates, fourth terminal, fourth connector. Okay. That's it. Now we connected the end gate four inputs with switch one, switch two, switch three, switch four in sequence. Okay, remember that. The first one is switch one, the second one is switch 2, the third one is switch 3, and the fourth one is switch 4. Okay. The same thing connected for all the end gates. If you select the wire, it will show us fourth connector, the fourth input. It is switch 4. Okay. Like this, you can verify. Now, what we will do, so this is the first AND gate, the first AND gate except the switch 1, make the remaining 3 as invert output, okay, inverted output. So just take the arrow and tap here 2 times, that's it. Similarly, for the third input and fourth input, okay. Now go to second block and second end gate which is B002. For second end gate, leave the second one, remaining three you make inversion. That means input one, input three, input four. This is the second end gate. And go to the third end block, you leave the third input and make the remaining inputs inversion. One, first one, second one, fourth one. Similarly, for the fourth block, make input one, two, three inversion, leave the fourth one. Okay. Now, one set is completed. And take one R block. Connect the four end gates output with this R block. Just to drag it. Okay. Now, for the remaining four end gates, what we will do. For end gate block number B5, do the inversion for the fourth input. Okay. And for the next one, third input. And for the next one, second input. And for the next one, last one, first input. That's it. Now connect the end gates output with the R logic. You 
we can select this and we can drag the block like this also and connect just move these lines so that we will have better uh, clarity and visibility take one more r block connect the outputs of these two r blocks and finally connect the r block with the output So this is our four-way circuit. Okay. First, we will test it with simulation. Go to tools, select simulation. Okay. See the output Q1. This output will be turned on or off using any of the switch combination. Okay. Let's say I will turn on I3. The output is on. The Q1 is on. See, from the first end block, the output is on. I3 is on, and for the first end gate, if you see, remaining three inputs are 0, 0, 0, but there is a NOT gate, right? So that's why the input is inverted. That means this end gate receives four inputs as on that is why the output is on or get output is again on again this or get output is also on and lamp is on okay now i will make i4 on what happened as i4 is also on that means the first and gate second input is on not get is there that means it receives zero that's why the first and get output is zero that's why r get output is zero and this is the third or get third or get b11 block number b11 also off output is off let's say i5 on again output is on just check which and gate is on yeah, this one, block number five, this end block is on. This is how the four-way circuit works. You can use any switch combination using these four switches. You can make the output on or off. You can use the same switch, any of the switch, to make the output on or off. Let's check with input six. I will turn on the I6. See, output is off. Again, I will turn off the I6. Again, output is on. You can do this like this. Okay. Now, we will download this program into the PLC and we will check with the hardware. Okay. So this we are in simulation just click the arrow simulation will be up go to tools transfer pc to logo select this one the program will be downloaded into the plc select ip address click ok yes Yes. So see output one is on. We are using input three, four, five, six. You can change any input state. The output state will be changed. Let's say input five, output one is on. Again, input five change the state. Output one will be off. Input six on. Input output one is on. Again, input four. 
output one of like this. See, when now I am changing the input state, any input state out of the four inputs, the output state is changing. That's it. So this is the four-way circuit. Generally, these four switches are installed at different locations. Okay, so that you can use any switch at any location to make the output on or off. You can also use the online test mode. Go to online test. Select IP. Click OK. We are online right now. You can change the input state. It will update here on the program also. Let's say input 3 on. Output 1 is on. You can see the status in both the hardware and the software also. Again, input 3 off. Output 1 is off. Input 4 on. Output 1 on. Input 3 on. Output is off. Like that, you can use any input to activate the output. Put on on or off the output using any switch combination out of these four inputs. This is the four way circuit using and or not functions. Okay. The simplified version of the four way circuit we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.